Well, here we are at the center of town here in Mullen. Um, day after the recall vote, um, we came down to do a little clip. Looks like it's going to turn out to be a really nice day. The clouds are breaking up. Let's see uh, a little bit of sunshine, some blue sky. We, um, first thing we noticed was is, uh, the path is clear here in the park. Leading all the way up to the gazebo. Of course, the city crew didn't, uh, shovel anything. The sun finally melted all the snow for us. March 13th. Yeah, it's relatively warm considering the time of year. Um, we just saw the city crew come by. Uh, they're still taking advantage of uh, the mayor and the street and the street supervisor, our council president's um, lack of supervision and. Um, mismanagement of um, our budget. Employees get away with just about everything. We still don't have a tool list. But um, now that the recall is over and the council president and the mayor are still in office, um, we noticed that they're parked here at City Hall. So we thought we'd come down and do a little clip. Um, we had a coalition had a brief uh, meeting this morning uh, just to kind of process what happened yesterday during the vote. Um, our spokesman was there for the duration of the vote, and that was from eight the morning to eight at night. Then it was another two hours uh, counting up the votes and um, coming to a final decision about um, what the tally was. What we've um, talked about though was the process of the voting. Um, we did some demographics as people came in. We vote. We we kept track of the. Uh, the population, um, male, female, and then we did the best that we could as far as um, guessing on the age of um, the population that came in to vote. And according to our records, um, uh, we'd say at least 80% of the voters were seniors, and of those, um, at least Mm, 50 to 75 percent were retired. And um, what concerns us is, is um, quite a few of the people that came in thought they were actually um, coming here to play bingo. We see there's a sign up here on the front door that says bingo. So we're not sure. Um, why that was, but uh, we noticed that they were being escorted in, and uh, we overheard on a couple of occasions where um, they didn't really know what to do with the voting uh, ballot, and their escort told them how to vote. We know that the mayor and the council president, they have a, um, a lot of support from the senior population here. Um, a lot of retired folks in town. So uh, we might call the Secretary of State just to find out more about that situation. Um, you know, obviously there wasn't any bingo happening yesterday, but they do play bingo there. We don't know how many times a month or a week, but um, if people were thinking they came there to play bingo, and then we're told how to vote. Um, 
that's not um, that's not copacetic. So uh, we're going to look into that situation some more. But um, the uh, the citizens here spoke last night. Those that voted, half the registered population voted. We had about we had 249 people show up, and then 10 10 people that were um, uh, write-ins. So a total of uh, 259 people actually voted, and. Um, the people that voted for the recall, we had, um, I believe it was 78 for the mayor and um, uh, the high 60s for the council president. So there's still a good population of people in town that actually voted that want to see change here. We're happy about that. But there you have it, another report, your eye in the sky. Mullen, Idaho.